In this problem we have taken 50 frogs from a lake and for each frog we've identified whether they're male or female. We have also coded this data by using the numeric variable frog n as either 1 for female or 0 for male. We wish to test the proposition that the proportion of female frogs is 60% of the population. Note for reference later, the first entry we have in the data is the female frog. So to test this proposition, we will use the binomial test using non-parametric tests, one sample. We will customize the analysis, check the fields, and we see that both variables have been selected into the test field, so we can test both simultaneously. We click settings. We wish to choose the binomial test and we have to set the options for this test. The first thing we have to do is to change the hypothesized proportion to 0.6 but then we have to ensure that this is the female frogs which have the proportion of 60%. For the categorical fields, for the data expressed as M and F, we use the first category found in the data. And if you remember, the first category found in the data was a female frog. So we're looking here that the female frogs represent 60% of the population. But for the numeric variable frog N, that success is defined as being equal to or less than the sample midpoint. We had values of 0 and 1, so the sample midpoint was 0.5. So in this case, success is being defined as being less than 0.5, which if you remember, was a male frog. So actually, for the numeric variable, we are testing the wrong proposition. But we'll run this test in any case. And we see the results of the tests on the two variables. For the categorical variables, for F and M, testing whether F occurs with a probability of 0.6, we get P is 0 0.030, which says that we should reject the null hypothesis. It is not a 60% proportion. But if we look at the test, performed on the numeric variable frog n, entries less than 0.5, i.e. those with a value of 0, were the males. So this test is testing whether the males occur with a probability of 0.6. So this is a different test and it gives a different p-value. This tells us that we should reject the null hypothesis, but at this point we don't know whether it is a one-tailed or a two-tailed test. But we can double click on this summary result to gain further information about the test and we can see here the test statistic for the binomial test but we can see that the p-value of 0 0.030 was for a one-sided test. So we know that this is a p-value for a one-sided or one-tailed test testing whether or not the proportion of female frogs was greater than 0.6 and we find out that we get a significant result showing that the proportion in the lake was greater than 60%. If we look at the results for the numeric variable frog n we see a different p-value but the reason for that is we're actually testing a different question. The category is defined by frog n less than 0.5 i.e. 0 were for the male frogs. So this was testing whether the proportion of male frogs occurred with a probability of 0.6. And so this does give a different result. If we wanted to use the frog n variable, we would return to the analysis. And because we are reversing the roles of males and females, if we change our proportion from 0.6 to 0.4, and then run the tests. We will now see that using the frog n variable, it is now testing whether the proportion of male frogs with a value of zero 
occur with a probability of 40%, which is equivalent to the original question. And we get the same p-value of p 0 0.30. We can still use SPSS to perform this binomial proportions test, even if the data is given as summarised values. So, for example, we may know that we've got 37 female frogs and 13 male frogs. To perform the analysis, we have to weight the data. And to do this, we go to Data, Weight Cases. And we weight cases by the number of observations. So we weight cases by the number. And this now means that the effect is that we now have the equivalent of 37 entries of female frogs and 13 entries of male frogs. So this means when we run the same analysis as before, it has got the test fields of male and female, and we customize the analysis. We select the binomial test, and under options, we again go to 0.6 for the hypothesized proportion. The female value is the first category found in the data, so we can run OK. And we get the same result as we did before with a p-value of 0 0.030.